Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In this video, we're going to examine the accuracy of my age calculations from my original age video. Before we get started today, if you haven't watched my original How to Properly Calculate Someone's Age video, pause this and go watch that now, okay, so you understand what I'm talking about. Now that you've watched the original age video, today's video is in response to a comment on my YouTube channel about that original video from user Rabid Follower. Now let me first start out by saying that I absolutely love well thought out comments like this. I love being challenged. If you think that something that I have to say in one of my videos is incorrect, please speak up. Let me know. If I say something you think is out in left field, tell me. Okay, as long as you're polite and courteous to me, I will respond in kind. Rude people are given the boot. I don't tolerate any rude or insulting behavior or comments on my channel. But rabid followers comments were well thought out, very intelligent and very much appreciated. So thank you. So anyways, here's what he said. He said, I think dividing by 365 point whatever could lead to erroneous results pretty often. And it's not one in 5000. Like you said, it's more like one in 486 for my calculations. Okay, let's examine this. Now my reply in the YouTube comment thread was, like I said in the description and in the original video, this method is 99.9% .9 correct. This method is good enough for most applications. I do have a VBA function in the extended cut of the original video, which I'm gonna show you today. That's 100% accurate to the day. Here's a copy of the original thread I'll put a link to it down in the links section below so you can click on it and read the whole thing if you want to or just pause this and read it if you want. <laughs> okay, so since he brought up that my calculations might be wrong, I ran some tests. And if I'm wrong, I always admit it. What I did was I actually built a database to generate random dates. All right, I would generate two random dates and then I would calculate the age of that person using both methods. The first one is the simple division equation that I show in the original video. The second method is the one that's 100% accurate that I know works 100% of the time, and that's the advanced calculation that I cover in the extended cut. So after running through almost 10 million iterations, it turns out that the age simple division calculation is 99.91% .91 accurate. That's after almost 10 million calculations. Okay, so 99.91% of the time it's accurate. Therefore, roughly one in a thousand calculations, roughly, will be off by one year. And they'll always come in low. So what is this 100% accurate calculation? Well, there's age one and age two by two different methods. Age one is what I showed you in the original video. Take date two, subtract date one, and then divide that by 365.2425. That will give you the result that is 99.91% accurate which personally I think is good enough for most uses. Yes, if your database is mission critical and you need to have an accurate 100% of the time perfect result, then you have to use age two. Now I like to keep my tech help videos simple, as simple as I can for the majority of people. And I think for most users, especially business uses, age one is just fine. And I've been using it for years with no complaints whatsoever. I didn't want to have to take the time to go through and explain date diff and date serial, even though I do have other free videos on how to use those. I wanted to keep the age calculation simple for the majority of people. That's why I explained in the extended cut, I'll cover these in more detail for those who want to really learn the ins and outs of the 100% accurate formula, but it takes knowing some other stuff. I felt age one was also good enough because the original questioner was checking IDs in a nightclub. All right, so even if it's wrong, it's going to come in low. A 21-year-old might accidentally show up as 20, but never the other way around. You're never going to admit someone who's 20, okay, when the calculation shows 21. So a quick check of their ID will fix that situation, which is why I think for that user, age one is just fine. So did I exaggerate in the original video? Yeah, in the original video, I said that age one is accurate. I said 99.999% of the time. I think it'll give you an error like once out of 5,000 years. I didn't actually do the math. I was just trying to make the point that this method is good enough for most uses. Okay. It's like when you're talking to someone and you just off the cuff say, yeah, one out of a million, blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
but the actual accuracy is right there, 99.91%. I did the math this time. <laughs> so, rabid follower, I'll split the difference with you. All right, you said 1 out of 486. I said 1 out of 5,000. Yeah, roughly half. <laughs> That's how I do my math, right? <laughs> All right, so let's see this new function in action. Let's see how it works. Okay, not really a function. It's a calculation. You can make it a function if you want to. But again, that involves some VBA that's a little more advanced. I try to keep things nice and simple as much as I can for the tech help videos. The extended cuts can get a little crazy, though. So let's make a table and just see both of these side by side in a query. This is my tech help free template. If you want to go download a copy, this is my website. It's free, absolutely free. You can go grab it. If not, just you can put this in any old database. So create and then table design. Do you need an ID for this table? Nah, not for this one. All right, so just D1, that'll be a date. And then D2, that'll be a second date. And you're not getting lucky on the third date, so don't even ask. Okay, so let's save this as my age T. And yeah, go ahead, throw the primary key on there for me. I don't care. Okay, so let's go over to data sheet view and just put a couple dates in here. I'll put in here 10, 23, 72. That may or may not be my birthday. And today's date. So I'll hit control, semicolon. We'll just throw that in there. All right, we'll put some more records in in just a second. But let's go over to make a query now. Create, query design, HT. All right, let's bring in D1, D2. Now, the original calculation right here. Okay, there it is. Straight out of the first class, first video, whatever you want to call it. I'll zoom in so you can see it. Nothing fancy, right? Date 2 minus date 1 divided by 365 point whatever. All right, run that query now. And you'll see, yeah, I'm, I'm 48. That came out right. All right, back to design view. And let's make age 2 now. Age 2. Now, I'm not going to explain this whole uh, calculation for you. That's not, If you want to learn that extended cut for the original one, I go through it in detail. But there it is. I will zoom in so you can get a good look at it. There it is. Type it in if you want to. All right. Basically, it uses date diff and date serial. I have other free videos that cover how date diff and date serial work. I'll put links down below if you want to go learn how these guys work. But if not, there's the calculation. And that is accurate 100% of the time. All right. Let's save this as my age Q. And run it. And there we go. There's age 48. All right. Now... Rabbit Follower brought up that if you got some dates that span leap years a certain way, then the original calculation, age one, might not be right. And and he's correct. For example, he brought up, let's see some of his dates here, 4-1-2019. Actually, let's put the old one in first. Uh, 1998. D1 has to be the older one for this calculation to work. And then 4-1-2019. Okay. And yeah, this person would have turned 21 on 4-1-2019, right? 2018, they were 20. So this is one of those one in a thousand calculations that don't come out right, right? It spans just the right leap year to, to not work. But it will always give a low answer if it's incorrect. It'll be a year too low, all right? So for, like I said before, for a bar or restaurant type scenario, this is just fine. Someone's going to go, hey, I'm actually 21. Here's my ID. Oh, okay, you're good. So, again, if, you're, if your need is mission critical, use this guy. Okay? So I hope this helps to clear things up a little bit. And Rabid Follower, thank you very much for your very thoughtful and well-laid-out argument. I appreciate it. If anyone wants to see how I built my testing database, I'll cover that in the extended cut for members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. And there's lots of them now. There's over 100. But I'll show you how I built this form. I'll show you how I set everything up in VBA with the loops and the calculations and the moving parts and all that good stuff. How do you become a member? Click the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my Tech Help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. 
These are the full-length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from accesslearningzone.com.